Word up, Georgia Japan here with another story. Actually, um, I just got back from a Halloween parade slash costume contest. I took my two daughters, again, they're four and two years old. Uh, unfortunately, my wife didn't want to come. I invited her a couple weeks ago, but the conversation was just like, so honey, do you want to go to the Halloween event? Are there gonna be people? Yeah. A lot of people? Yeah. I'll pass. You and I were really kindred spirits. Yeah, normally I have like these social phobias and I get really stressed out being in a crowd. But on Halloween, you know, I, I get to be somebody else. So it's like the one time I can be in a big crowd and not freak out. Oh, and if you're wondering who I went as, I, I went as a personal hero of mine, Solera of Astora. I still got the helmet here actually, yeah. Still. Yeah, I, I actually, uh, I, don't, I don't have the body armor. I, I just wore my regular armor, which, which is actually a suit, so business solaire. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to talk like this, so. It's still kind of hot in Japan, so I'll take this off too. Oh, and uh, my kids went as Disney princesses, Cinderella and Snow White. Uh, thanks to my parents for sending that. <laughs> and yeah, my, my kids love dressing up in costume. We, we, we sometimes have these like costume tea parties here, right, right here. <laughs> And yeah, I, I dress as Solaire and their princesses. It's it's pretty fun. <laughs> um, yeah, so my, my daughters do know who Solaire is, but it, it's kind of hard for them to say Solaire, so they call it Sun Sun. It's like, Sun Sun, oh, Sun Sun's here. So actually, um, just before leaving for the Halloween event, my wife is telling them, but kids, there's gonna be like zombies and monsters. Are you really gonna be okay? And they started getting really scared. Like, oh no, there's zombies. It's like, stop, stop scaring them. They, they'll be okay. Uh, she's like, but there, there's gonna be some scary people. And I was like, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, there, there's a kid's portion and there's the regular adult portion. I know some people get really crazy in the adult portion have some really scary stuff, but I figured things are gonna be okay in the kids portion. So I was telling him, girls, it's gonna be all right, you know? It, oh, I got it. And they're like, no, what if there's a zombie? Oh gosh, like, if there's a zombie, just kill it. And my wife's like, hey, don't use that kind of language with the kids. Uh, sorry, uh, if there's a zombie, all you gotta do is defeat it. And I, I pulled out this like w wand. You know, it's like an accessory for princesses, right? It's like, this is a magic wand. You can use it to defeat any monster. Watch. It's like, Arr! it's like you just gotta, just, and my two-year-old, she's like, yeah, Arr! Arr! and my older daughter, Leo, who's four, she's, she's like, what about me? I don't have a wand. It's like, she, she's, she's the one dressed as Cinderella. You don't need a wand. Those gloves, they're magic gloves. Didn't I tell you they're magic? All you gotta do is be like, Foom! and a monster's gonna fall down. Like, try it out, try it out. Foom! And she's just like, oh God, I have power. So I, I, I boosted their brave and we went to the, to the event. Gosh, it's a real nice event. Um, a lot of people came out. A lot of people with some creative costumes. I, I wish I had more pictures to show, but yeah, when you have two kids pulling at you, you can't really take out your phone and take a video. But yeah, so we got to the reception, I, I signed in, and we were taken to a spot to wait in line to go up on stage for the costume contest. And I guess two dudes from the adult portion came really early and they were just standing around. Oh God, they had some nightmarish masks. I don't know how to describe it. It's like they were something out of uh, Resident Evil Revelations. Just a really messed up face. And my daughter saw that and they just screamed. I was like, use the wand, use your, use your magic, use your magic, use your magic. And they like, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're like, They're pretty nice dudes, they, they, they left. You guys defeated the monster, yeah! Man, some of the kids had some pretty bloody outfits too. I remember there's a whole like zombie family just covered in like bloody clothes and my daughters were just staring at them for a bit. It's like, hey, 
what you guys want to watch some YouTube instead? Cause the wait was pretty long. We were there for like 40 minutes in line. And finally we're getting close, closer and closer to the stage. And I'm just confirming with them. Like, so do you want me to put on the solar helmet? And they're like, no, Sun's not scary. I'm like, what? Sun Sun wasn't scary yesterday. No, don't wear a helmet. Like, okay, I guess I'm just gonna be, C can you guys go on stage by yourselves then? And they're like, yeah. Okay, I'm getting closer. We're just like three, there's like three people in front of us to go up on stage. And they start to see the audience from there and they're like, Daddy, I don't know. No. Like, you two are really my children. You have inherited my social phobias, but I want you guys to overcome this at an earlier age. So we're doing this, come on, you can do it. Daddy will go with you. My older daughter, Dio, is like, no, you gotta carry me. Like, okay, daddy will go on and carry you. And then my younger daughter, Dina, is like, but you gotta carry me too. Like, oh, yeah, okay, sure. I pick them both up. <laughs> That's why I try to work out sometimes. And we get up on stage. And actually, Lena, she, she was kind of okay with all the tension, but Dio was it's like, no. <laughs> We got up. I, I didn't expect this, but uh, they, they kind of interview you a little bit. So you get up on stage and they're like, oh, okay, so what's your, like, what's, what's your costume? What are you supposed to be? I'm like, I'm a struggling single father. No, I didn't say that. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm a dude carrying two Disney princesses, Cinderella and Snow White. And they're like, oh, oh, you're, you're foreign, aren't you? Where did you come from? I'm from the far, far away land of uh, two towns over. Yeah, I, I live here. I, I, I've, I've lived here for a long time. I'm originally from Hawaii, so aloha. I couldn't do that, no. <laughs> two girls. I'm like, are you okay carrying them? Like, yeah, I do this all the time, sometimes all day, so I'm used to it. And they asked the girls to do a little pose. I don't know, something about posing. Even Dio got over her social phobia instantly and was just like... And Nina was doing the wand attack. <laughs> ah, it was great. And we got off stage like, Girls, you did it! Good job, good job! Yeah! <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Um, a lot of cool costumes. One family, uh, Family 4, uh, I think they won a special award. They, they went as the One Piece characters. The dad was Zoto, the mom was a chopper. Uh, I think their five-year-old was Sanji. It's so cute, oh man, he had the eyebrows. A fake cigarette. And an even younger daughter, maybe four or three, dressed as Nami. Oh, it's adorable. They made a cardboard ship. Uh, they put it on a wagon. Oh, this is the cutest thing ever. So yeah, after the costume contest, we there was some time until the parade, so we ate lunch, and we we went to the parade to line up. And I asked my daughter, he's like, so should I put on the sun? Should I be sun sun now? And they're like, yeah, be sun sun. I said, okay, put on the helmet. And gosh, it was a lot of fun. A lot of people came out to watch the parade, and I'm walking with my daughters. I have the solar helmet on. A little scared because my vision is very limited in this helmet. But we're walking, and out of the few hundreds of people that were that came out and watched the parade, I'm very confident four of them were Dark Souls fans. Because I did get one Praise the Sun, and a few people actually coming up and like, Solaire? Praise it, brother. Uh, it was great to see some fellow Dark Souls fans. We we're walking through the area. It's about like a 15 minute walk. It's not too far, but at the halfway point, Dio is like, I can't walk anymore. And there's a lot of people behind us. I'm like, we gotta keep going. It's the parade. Come on, Dio, let's go. He's like, I don't want, I can't walk anymore. All right, okay, and I pick her up. Then Dina's like, I can't walk anymore too. It's like, oh, yeah, okay, sure. I pick him up. It must have been quite a sight to see Solaire of Astora carrying Cinderella and uh, Snow White over here. <sighs> Good times. Real good times. And we got to the end of the parade, which is at a mall. And that's where they're gonna do like the award ceremony. 
So we sat down and we waited for everybody to come in and they called up the awards. Yeah, we, we, we didn't win anything, but I think, yeah, we'll definitely go back to this event next year. And I'm hoping like when my kids are older, maybe in three or four years, that we can do a really crazy costume collaboration kind of thing. I, I got a bunch of like ideas. It sounds really hard to do, but I, I, I would love to try and do some, some of these crazy ideas. Anyway, uh, that's about all I got for today. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and have a glorious day.